We're in the middle of the African bush, surrounded by lions, cheetahs, leopards, hyenas, and wild dogs. You're sort of safe because we've got this like top. And we're now going to be sleeping here overnight when all of the scary animals come out to hunt. And yeah. I had something sniffing around my tent. It was a hyena. The hyena came into the camp. Really? Yeah. And right now behind us are zebras and wildebeest. Uh, which you think would sound nice sound because they're not carnivores, nice, but, but even yeah. they can attack and kill you. Yeah. So let's go over here. Come on. So this is our camp here in Maremi Game Reserve here in Botswana. The sun is now setting, so let's show you around. But we need to be quick because when it gets dark, that is actually when it is dangerous. And our tour guide said that we need to stay in our tents tonight. Like we actually can't leave at all. So guys, we need we'll to make sure we do all of our bedtime routine and everything, especially before 9 p.m. Because after 9 p.m., that is when it can get really, really dangerous. And we're not joking. Like literal We're not lions. saying this just to make an entertaining YouTube video. It's real life. Like, I'm actually scared. <laughs> Even though it's going to be an entertaining YouTube video as well. Right, let's show them around the, the edge first, shall we? As, as far as we dare go. So this is the area where our guides and helpers are. Been doing all of our food and everything here. It's been absolutely amazing. Been treated so well. We? And I'm really yeah. grateful that they're here because they are keeping us alive. Yes. Like, and reassuring <laughs> us every five minutes. <laughs> and then we've got multiple vehicles here so we've got the closed vehicle there and then we've got this safari vehicle which is what we've actually been going round in on safari this has been amazing and then up here is another one of the track so even I genuinely gets I don't know what I said even I no one of the I get genuinely scared when I come to this edge we're not really supposed to even though we we're just doing our intro back there he did just come and let us know you're going a bit too yeah far out so, so this is the perimeter is, of yeah, our camp this is the track here massive termite mound over there yeah massive termite mound that's made out of insects and then guys over here just to show you this is what can happen if you break the rules lion food literal lion food this used to be a buffalo and this used to be what I call Impala, but it's an Impala. Impala, but I, yeah. But I keep calling it Impala. And also today we saw a massive hippo skull. <laughs> well, also, yeah. have anyone yeah. like seen the chair? No. What's happened to the chair? Look, what? over here, guys. What? I'm like concerned. I don't know how this happened. But look, there's literal claw marks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do hyenas have claws? Do you think that's Well, yeah, hyenas? of course. They like eat. It could have been Anything. where somebody passed through, though. Yeah, no. so anyway, uh, this is the restaurant, I'll call it restaurant, our eating yeah. area. We have honestly been treated like as a full restaurant. Our eating area and our cups of tea here. But again, like we've got to be very careful the times we come out here. And like literally anything can pass by at any point because we're in this giant reserve where everything is. So they can walk past, it just depends whether they're awake. About half an hour ago, we even heard elephants like doing their roaring loud like, noise. Loud yeah. And the thing is, you think elephants are really sweet and kind and they are like yeah. kind of harmless creatures. But if they get scared, they can like stamp on you they're and crush you. They're like yeah. the weight of, I don't even know, like three cars or something. Yeah. yeah. So, so like even though they don't eat other animals and they they can attack you if they're scared yeah so. so then these are our tents which are actually amazing oh also we've got two young children Kara and Karma who have gone pretty wild since we got here all right guys yeah, yeah. you just playing the two holes I'm not joking Fizvan, but I've been scared the whole time we've been camping because they're like my little cubs and I'm really scared that other animals are gonna be who I just got it in my head other animals might be watching from all the grass looking at Karma and Kara seeing them as easy prey when we keep hearing stories about how the little ones the ones what get snatched anyway who wants to do a tour of their tent I'll let the Me. girls yeah? the tent. go on then I'm gonna look after them okay right but good I've, we've got a rule where one of us always has to be watching these two so out here we have our little relaxation area and we actually have these sinks have yeah. you these Mia? yeah because we, we actually don't soap. have any running water or electricity or internet or anything like that here obviously because we actually are in like the middle of the wild it's like hours yeah. until you get to even like a slight amount of civilization guys so we're like properly this is our version of a sink it's definitely a different experience but it's really yeah. good out of our comfort zone just wait till you see the toilet though <laughs> yeah just wait that one that one's interesting so this is inside our tent we have to make sure we keep this zipped up 24 7 like i keep telling sienna and karma because they keep going out and leaving it I open i'm like did. please do not leave it open i do not want but spiders insects or worse in the tent like yeah. seriously like no so yeah this is inside our tent this is me sienna's and karma's tent so we have three beds 
it's actually really nice that we're sharing because I don't think I could sleep like on my own. No, yeah, that, that would be, would be way too so, scary. So, so terrifying. So this is my area, this is my bed. I have taken one for the team and said that I have the bed closest to the door, which means if lions do come in and scratch like the tent bit, tent door open with their really sharp claws, I'll be eaten first. So uh, maybe it might be full up and you two will be left alone. <laughs> no, I hope that doesn't happen. No, I don't think that will happen. So then, over here I have all my stuff. I've got my safari hat. I've got my outfit out ready for tomorrow because we have to wake up really early. Yeah. Because all of the wildlife mostly comes out like in the morning and night and stuff. So we don't want to miss it. We want to take full advantage of our opportunity while we're here in Africa. And then we have my bed and Karma sleeping in the middle so we can make sure. I love sure how Karma's bed is zebra her. print. Look. Yeah, it is zebra print. A little so blanket. Go out there and be disguised. Got nice like, mirror I was gonna say mirrors. There aren't any any mirrors at all. But we have nice windows to let air ventilation. And then yeah. here is the dump. The toilet. Yeah, we call it the dump <laughs> because it's literally a dump where you dump. <laughs> we'll show you. Not inside it because that would be a bit much. So this is actually really important in case you need the toilet in the night. Obviously you can't leave because it's literal like wild animal area. So yeah. that's why we've got this toilet area but you don't technically have to leave the tent. You're sort of safe because we've got this like top. <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you <laughs> now, the reason why it's really important oh that you don't gosh. scream because you can like spook the animals and that's when they're dangerous. <laughs> the rule is if anything does try and get in your tent you have you, to keep still and don't scream. Don't scream like that. <laughs> like I think I reacted but she did the proper like shrill high pitch. <laughs> Our guy is probably going to be like, Joseph has come, <laughs> yeah, he come around to see what's the match. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, before all that commotion happens, oh, yeah. we have our shower here, which basically you just fill up with water and then you turn the nozzle and it's empty at the moment because me and Sienna had a shower earlier. Yeah. But yeah, you just empty it and then the water comes out. So you don't have that much running water, but you can wash your hair and stuff, which I did, which I Stop it. And then we have a little seat here. So one of us can do like, you know, the watches, the listening out while the other one's trying to relax and do the dump. Cool. Oh my gosh, Carla just made it even worse. <laughs> then here we have our little sink, which is this sort of It's just a bowl full of water, because as we said, yeah. there aren't running stuff. And then I'll let you show the, the dump. So then over here we have the dump, which is literally just a hole and you dump and then you put mud on it and yeah. a toilet roll as well so yeah that, that's it's a dump i'm glad to see that our toilet's being fixed after mum did that <laughs> yeah so i don't know why i screamed yeah. like that but it did really scare me <laughs> thank I you i must do that next time if a real animal actually comes yes yeah that was a good practice it was <laughs> so yeah that's the bathroom area and it's literally oh. like a giant dug out hole There's with that plastic real, toilet over the top Another rule we have to remember, I'm the rule giver, is that you're not meant to leave your shoes outside because if not, this is not a joke, the hyenas will run off with them and they'll chew yeah. them to bits because some people have had one shoe go missing and they've found it later on safari and it's all like chewed to like smithereens. <laughs> like literal dogs. Yeah, which... just like how a dog will chew a shoe up. Yeah. I know, I think they are related to the dog family, aren't they? Mm. But yeah, our tent is exactly the same as theirs. We've got the three single beds in it. I'll give you a little peek just in case you really want to check it. Look, we've got our beds are neater than theirs. Three single beds. Then we've got the poop station at the back, which I think is a rather ingenious invention. Don't you, Darren? Yeah, it's and great. and the shower. It's really good. It's kind of like we're glamping, but it's dangerous glamping. Yeah. Wouldn't you say that? Because the glamping element is obviously beds in there, and we've got like somebody making meals for us. Lovely, but no, it's, it's, there's it's, a huge element of danger here and when it gets dark i am not joking the noises and the sounds and everything and the heat and you feel like you're like i don't know like you're going crazy like you you literally feel like it's taking over your head Time to brush our teeth everyone i know you're having fun but we'll just brush our teeth 
It's now going to start getting dark, you see, and we need to get ready before it gets yeah. dark, don't we? I can't put my little babies in Remember, we've got the no hyena's light or anything, have we? going to rest in his little hole. Oh, well, that's for a hyena, is it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. That's a hyena is going to put in. And what's Cover's one for? Um, It's for a hyena as well. Is it? Yeah, for a tiger. For a tiger? <laughs> I don't tiger think there's tigers don't here, but there's no, lions. No, it's for a squirrel, just never one. Oh, a squirrel. <laughs> okay, cute. that's cute. It's time to brush our teeth, so we just get the bowl of water. And tip it in while I... I'm just gonna go like that because I don't really want to put. Yeah, and then we have like mud it. over there, which we use as like the sink. And there's bit. also a, a really gross, like dead centipede there. And then I oh, got yeah, this toothpaste. toothbrush thing. Toothpaste, toothpaste, you mean? I put toothpaste in that little travel size thing, but it keeps getting covered in oil and it's literally like impossible to open. Crack it also, open. just like bear in mind, we're literally sitting next to a hole full of poo right now. <laughs> Me and you won't say that. Ready? Just get a little bit of toothpaste get on, on the lid. And then we spit on the mud. <laughs> Hello, I'm an earthworm. Yes, that's me. Long, pink and wriggly. Now we fill our waters up before bed because we cannot leave the tent, obviously, to get water in the night. So we have yeah. to make sure that we re actually like remember to do this because it gets really hot in them as well. Yeah. Say goodnight to Joseph. Come on. Don't hold him Watch the fire. I really want to say goodnight to you. Oh, goodnight. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. She's getting good now, isn't she? Big girl. See you in the morning. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you for the food. Good night. It's starting to hear some of the sounds coming out now, aren't we? The sun is now setting. If you can see it, I think it's gone over the horizon now. This is it, Karma. Yeah. It's time. To get in our tents for the night, isn't it? So we don't get bitten by lions. In the safety of our tents. They look pretty safe, um, don't they? Of course, <laughs> Okay, yeah, quickly get the things so they don't get eaten by hyenas. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I love Good night. you, my little man. Good night, Karma. Good night. Good night, Kella. Good night, Good night. I love you. We'll see you in the morning. We've got to get up really early, okay? We've got another adventure to do tomorrow. Guys, quick. Come, 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 come. come. Oh my goodness, check this out. If you didn't quite believe where we are, check this out. Look at this for an amount of elephants crossing. There's wildebeest, zebras, and this massive line of elephants. I don't even know, there must be like 20 elephants there. And as you can see guys, no fence. No fence, like yeah. literally. Careful, Sienna, don't go too far. Because this the is first literally place just we us. At, it obviously wasn't in a game reserve, but there were some wildlife there and it had an electric fence. Um, but here there is nothing, which is why we're not really meant to step outside. Yeah, I'm a bit scared. I right, so like her and Karma are in bed, and I feel like we should stay up, wait for it to properly get dark, look at the stars, and then. Well, oh, yeah. I can't believe how many elephants are there. It's wild. Yeah, look, there's the sunset, guys. Wow. So the sun's now completely gone under the horizon. I like this time of the day. Yeah. Like when the sun is setting, it's beautiful. It's just after when the sun sets and then when it gets a little bit creepy. Now's yeah. where everything could take a little bit of a turn. But yeah, that is well, like a, baby a serious amount oh. of animals. Wow. Wow. It's like they've all come out just to show off to the fizz fam. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm like, thank you guys. I just counted them on the binoculars. There's actually 30 elephants but it is now starting to get dark here. So some of the sounds are kind of changing and this is what is meant to happen here at night where the vibe goes a bit different, doesn't it? <laughs> you wrote this far. <laughs> right now, I don't know whether some of those shapes of lions or I know, that's what I was like really scared with my binoculars. What if I'm just suddenly see a lion? <laughs> like there and I'm like... I feel like those animals would be stampeding though if there's yeah. a lion. Well, like a lion actively hunting. But we literally just saw 30 elephants. Wow, there's so lightning in the yeah. sky. Oh my goodness. No way. Because we heard thunder earlier, I but it was like really distant. There might even be a storm. Do you know what? Like the sky is changing like genuinely. So right now, Fizz fan, we're getting all the little lanterns put out <laughs> for us so we can see our way around the camp. It's getting a bit blurry, Fizz fan, so we might have to start using our own light. Yeah. But as you can see, it's getting really, really dark now. It actually looks brighter on the camera. It's so windy, I feel like it's gonna be a storm or something yeah there definitely but feels like there's a storm brewing but we can't like really see any clouds tents. at the minute oh, i think i can see some bats flying around are they bats yeah there's there's <laughs> loads of like bats, bats flying around i don't know if you can see them probably not, not. The, the blood ones and 
I hope like you're the fruit ones. Bats. Yeah. Fruit bats, yeah. By the way, Fizz Fam, comment down below if you would dare do this. Like, are we actually like bonkers or would do you think this sounds fun? I mean I think it sounds yeah, fun and so a bit scary. Many bats. Yeah. They're like everywhere. Oh my gosh. Well Mia. I've barely ever seen like a bat Mia. In my life. Like, there's literally loads of bats. Like, so many, like everywhere. <laughs> yeah, do you want the bats? Yeah, come out then. Where are the bats? They're flying around in the sky. How do you oh, feel? So powerful. Like, you I'm feel a bit right? scared because of the storm. Yeah. But like, we definitely need to like storm? make sure all our flaps and Is everything are properly storm? closed. No, I feel like yeah, it feels really, really, really like tense and like yeah. something's about to happen. You know, like the calm don't before the storm. Scene, yeah. I don't know. It just yeah, feels as long as we weird. stick to all the rules, we'll be fine. And also, yeah. we can all just huddle in oh, Joseph's gosh, tent, so can't we? I'm not joking. We could just go in We couldn't fit in there. I know, but he'll look. He's basically he's not scared of the animals, is he? I'm not even joking. While I've been here, I have been questioning, like, this trip. There has been certain times when I'm like, why are we even doing this? Yeah. And then I just kept crying about Most thinking about. Most vacations are relaxing. This is the opposite of relaxing. <laughs> Like I keep thinking about robins and foxes and badgers and all the nice little innocent animals back home. <laughs> yeah. Mind you though, those elephants and zebras were pretty cool, weren't they? That's yeah. So cool. By the way, I think Giraffes. Dad just used the toilet. We could have like pranked him. <laughs> That's too mean. Not when it's dark. That's so no, mean. That is too mean. And it's also scary to be the person doing it. Oh, you got your. Yeah, I got that. Oh. Right. We should all tell each other scary yeah. stories. No. Oh my gosh, they're moving the vehicle. What? Why is it going? Bear in mind, no, we've actually been for safaris around here in the daytime. We've already seen half of those scary animals that we told you about. We've seen the lions, we've seen the wild dogs, we've seen elephants, we've seen giraffes. We've heard, we we've heard hyenas though. We've heard, yeah. yeah and we leopards. haven't seen hyenas, leopards and cheetahs though. But we but have heard them. We might see them tonight. Yeah. Have that you was seen a the bat, bats? I think. Yeah, yeah. bats. There's so many I know, that's bats. what Karma wanted to see. She's never seen oh. bats before. The stars are now coming out as well. Are they? Yes. Yeah. Oh, there's so many bats. I know, no way. Really scary. <laughs> yeah, wow. No, I think they did move the car over there to block it. Yeah, wow. That's oh, interesting. Do you think they know something we don't? I don't know. Because bear in mind that didn't happen before. You need to hold so. it low down. That that you, yeah, that's fair. We can bear see in mind that now. didn't happen before. Mm. <laughs> He's really getting into it. Wow. I feel like you suddenly put your safari hat on. Yeah, that's why I put my hat on. I'm getting ready for this. I think it's going to be raining tomorrow. How do the people do it, you know, when they're like solo on their own in a tent and they're trying to like spot wildlife? They have their little naked Yeah. I mean, imagine, just with the tent on their imagine own. Imagine if we could like go on a night safari. No. Yeah, that would be no. fun. But I don't think you're allowed to. You're not allowed to do it here because it's too dangerous. And also, yeah, that's the time when they do all the hunting. So we might see like a sweet little giraffe get eaten by a lion. Do you know how you can see if there's animals watching you? You see their eyes reflecting back at you. That's so scary. That's really creepy. There could be okay, loads of it. eyes around us. No. We need to get closer over there. No thanks. <laughs> no, but seriously, there's loads. We're surrounded because at this time of year, there's loads of tall grass. And that is literally when the Where? cats hide in the yeah. grass. Our guides and helpers are now going around all the edge and they're shining a torch all around and then they get and they clap because it kind of scares any animals which might be around here. They're so brave though, because they Might literally, be we've us. been asking them story, asking them questions about like, what happens if you come face to face with a lion, etc. And they're like, they're just so confident in giving it enough space. And then they're like, even things like elephants, they can just clap and then they can make them go away. But it's all like this delicate balance between how much you push and stuff. But so hopefully they're now making the perimeter safe. And we're just waiting until the stars come out, aren't we? Anyone scared? I'm yeah. terrified. I'm <laughs> terrified I'm if terrified. an animal's spying on us. <laughs> I, I feel like it's still quite calm. None of those weird noises have happened yet. Yeah, I just want to get in the thunder. I'm really really <laughs> scared of the thunder, whatever it is. I'm scared too. I feel like I just want to get cozy and not have to like think about that a lion could jump on me at any You're minute. You're on the edge, Sienna, right with the path just there. I'm <laughs> moving. <laughs> That's not how you do it, Sienna. Right there. My chair tipped over. You're right, oh mate. My gosh. Yeah. You're okay. What happened? Right. Did something scare I just you? went like I went forwards and then <laughs> I always did it again. If you keep seeing me looking really sketch for some, I just keep looking at these gap bits. There's just so many gaps. I know it's really dark now. I wish they moved the other vehicle and blocked off that bit. 
Mind you though, when they put the lanterns yeah. out, apparently that does scare the animals away. Yeah. So. No, but one can literally be right behind that tree, like right there, like a leopard or something. It's just crouching down low and then it could just run and pounce us and knock us all over. Sienna, as soon as shut up. what have I told you? We're one of those families where we don't talk it up, okay? Talk about what you want to happen. I just want to yeah? get involved. Focus on what's good. Well, you don't have to look at the stars. You can oh, get Oh, no, involved. I do want to get... I do want to look <laughs> at the stars as well. Because this is going to be our last scary. night here. And basically, we've only been here for two nights. Last night was our first night. We arrived when it's almost dark and we had to go straight to bed. So we didn't really get to take it in. So like tonight, we really want to make the most of it. So many lightning flashes, but the sky is now starting to clear. If you guys get in your tent and then yeah. then you'll be able to see the stars safely through the toilet area, won't you? Yeah. Or what do you call it? The dump station? Do you think I should close <laughs> dump the station. tap on this? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely close up properly. But if you want to see the stars, you can do it in there. But yeah, basically we're all feeling a bit too sketched to be out here now because it feels like flat. wrong that there's lions here. Hope you survive. And we're out. <laughs> Make sure you go in your tent as well. Yeah, we're going to zip you up properly, okay? okay right, we've got to make sure we do this. Because like what Mia said, like, what's stopping the what's clock? noise? Oh, there's a car there. That's it's like a big truck going past. It's funny because you're not supposed to do safaris at night, so I don't know what that is. No coming out of the tent, okay? Yeah. Mate, go to the toilet now as well before you go to sleep. Okay, good night everyone. Good night. night. I love you. Have a good sleep. We're now in the tent, all of us zipped up. I zipped up the front, well, they zipped up the front. I hope they did it properly. And I just zipped up the bathroom. We all did our last wee and there was like this big like grasshopper in there. So yeah, that was kind of funny. Are you girls ready for bed? Yeah. yeah. Good night, fam. I feel quite cozy now because like yeah. we're all yeah, done up, co up like safely. Well, apart from the windows, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we left the windows yeah, open just because we thought we need like ventilation. But otherwise, you ready for it's bed, It's so Cummies? windy. Like all the tent, like flappy bits. I'm are, scared. Like, Wow. What if we what the night. tent blows away and we just wake up we're in bed? <laughs> it won't blow away. It could happen. Good night. Good Hopefully night. we can sleep now. Good night. I don't know if the camera's gonna show it up for you guys, but the stars are wow. absolutely incredible wow. here. It's stunning. And then there's a storm just in the distance, so there's fork lightning and sheet lightning. So yeah, it feels... wish us luck for the night. <laughs> yeah, and like we're not gonna lay in bed, but literally we're gonna probably get woken up every hour by the most weirdest noises yeah. ever. Yeah, all the insect sounds have started now, so let's yeah. see how the night right. goes. We are meant to get inside our tents now. It's got to that time, yeah. so come on, come inside for this round. Can't get inside, Darren. Right, I'm gonna make sure I close it up properly. Right, Darren. Okay, good night. Knife is well. <laughs> I miss you, Darren. Don't worry, I've got the outer edge bed here as well. Same as Sienna. Right, we'll see you in the morning, guys. Good night. I have heard a 
to help us filling up the water out here this morning. That's what woke me up. Well, woke me up for the final time most recently. I'm like, has been kind of every hour. I don't know if Mia Siena Kama are awake yet. Mia Siena Kama, you awake? Yeah? Yeah, I can see one of the helpers going around here with a head torch on. They're so brave, honestly, and so like kind just going around they go around the, they go around the whole perimeter and check that everywhere's safe all the time which is just like really reassuring morning i can't actually see in but <laughs> it's about half five now everyone so wakey wakey i'm actually really tired but we have to wake up early because we're actually going to a new camp today and i'm so happy we survived so we can actually go to the new camp which hopefully is not going to be as scary as this i don't think it is i think this is definitely like the hardcore one but it's still dark outside so we still could get like eaten up but yeah <laughs> oh my gosh what is outside I don't know, but I heard howling last night. Oh my gosh. Oh, really? Did wolf. you actually? I heard howling. Oh, that might be a wolf it was like then. A wolf, but not a wolf howl. It was another sort of howl. They don't have like, wolves here, so I don't know what it could be, but that's scary. Dad's outside the tent and he's saying that he can hear like a roar of elephants. Yeah, Can't hear anything. It's right in the distance. Okay, yeah. phew, not too close then. I realised that also the animals come out like early morning like when it's just like getting light so they could actually be like coming out right now because that's why people always wake up really early to go on like the safari tours they wake up when it's like still dark so then they can like be out on the truck thing as it's as like sunrise is happening because that's when all the animals come out so we're like right here in the middle of the plains or the bush I was just undoing the girls tent and then look as I got this edge with the zip Look at this little grasshopper. Good morning. Morning, everyone. I feel like I've got mosquito bites. Really itchy. There hasn't oh. really been many mosquitoes, I don't think, has there? No, there hasn't. I haven't actually seen a single one while we've been here. How were you all last you. night? You uh, okay? Yeah. I really couldn't sleep. Did you hear lots really? of noises? Yeah, I heard howling and really? trumpeting. I was literally awake for ages. I could not sleep. I don't know why. I, well, I, I think I do know why. But. I fell asleep quite quickly, but I was hearing little cat noises as well. Not like the lion ones, but kind of like a cat. But I guess what is a big cat? Yeah. So I don't know I what like, what type I did it was. Also hear like movement around. Yeah. Oh that God. might have just been like squirrels. And nah. Stuff. That's well, that, that's what I kept telling myself as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah you squirrels. always hear it. Yeah. Or like twigs falling on the yeah. tent or something. Yeah. So it's time to get ready now. Then we're going to be going in a little while and the sun's now going to rise as well and we'll see what animals are out. Yeah, I said that all the animals come out like this kind of time. That's why people go on like the safari. Exactly, yeah. dark. Yeah. Okay, see you in a bit. Koa. Koko. You slept like a log as always, didn't you? Did you hear any animals? Uh-huh. I don't think you did, did you? You were asleep. You went to sleep so well, didn't you? Yeah, he did. Morning, Georgie. Morning. Proper, morning, Fizz Proper fan. morning. Proper morning. <laughs> I have got to say, I didn't have the best sleep. Kept getting woken up by sniffling and snuffling and roaring. And yeah. That. But we did make it. We did. And I'm really grateful for the thin walls of this tent. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny because we've been like reassured. It's like, no, all the animals just view it as a solid object. But when you hear them brush against it in the night, then you're like... How can they not figure out it's not a solid object when they're like literally pushing against it? I've got a really good question for you, Fizzum. Have you got any good camping stories? Because we were just saying last night, actually, I thought this could be, this is like probably the most dangerous camping experience. But are they remembered like in America, you can get bears when people go camping? Yeah. Welcome to Karma and Daddy Fizz's matcha making station here in the African bush. So it's uh, still kind of dark. Helpers have just brought us this nice hot water, which they're making. I think they make it on the fire, don't they, Karma? Yeah. So this is amazing. Me and Mummy even get to have our little matcha here. I think you're going to be having some breakfast in a minute. There's some of those breakfast rusks as well, which you like. Yeah. Well, I think we might be taking stuff on the truck with us as well. <laughs> I literally saw something shoot past there. Like, I'm not joking, in the shape of like a, a leopard. I'm no joke. Or a cheetah. I'm no, you joking. didn't. I did. No, you didn't, because you're so... smiling. But... You... I... Really? I did. There was something shot past there. 
literally. It past went past where? right there. Where did you see it? No, but there's people walking backwards and forwards all the time. Don't worry. But it's it was, fine. It was in the gap, like back there, on the road bit. Oh, right, yeah, maybe. Unless there it was is. a shadow from the other side, but it was really weird. I think we're okay. These are their breakfast rusks, Fizz Fam. Look. These are like something local that you get here. So you can have these before they, before we have the proper breakfast. Because we've actually been having kind of like three breakfasts. They give us some rusks and then we get some of the local porridge stuff. What, what's that called again? Porridge? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then also then we've been having a hot breakfast as well, haven't we? With sausages and tofu and baked we've beans. We've the haven't we? orange so cereal. Yeah, you've been having some cereal as well, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Let's get the whisk. See, Fizz Fan, this is how dedicated we are to match. Wherever we are in the world, even in the middle of the African plains. We've been drinking Rooibos as well, actually, which is the yeah. South, I think it's South African, is it? Yeah. Red Bush. Cheers. <laughs> Let's get your little water bottle. Yeah. Look at their water bottles, guys, what they it's gave us all. So this is Georgie's one, look. Shangana Safaris. And then it's got Georgie. Vegan Safari Africa. So cool, isn't it? So we all got a bottle each, didn't we? Guys? Yeah. What says our name? Yeah. Georgie. What? Which one says Darren? I think yours might be in the truck. Yeah. Already all filled up. And then they haven't got the rusks out yet, but in the morning... No, the rusks are up. Are they? Because yeah, yeah. when we leave early, the kids have a little rusk, and that is like an African or Southern African little breakfast, isn't it, Karma? Usually it's with milk, not on its own, but they think it's a cookie. They love it. Let me get one out. You can do a taste test for the Fizz yeah. fam. It's like a big, giant like cookie cereal piece. And I think it has... Does it have raisins in it? Yeah! It Honestly, does. it just smells, it smells like a so cookie. Nice. Apparently there were lions all last night. So you hear, I hear the, the hyena. Yes. Oh, I think wow. I, I think yeah. I could hear that. And then I wasn't sure if it was a lion or if it was elephants. Yeah, it was, the elephant, they really make a noise, but it was just once. But the hyena, I hear the hyena from that side. But yeah. the lion started around half past two, up until quarter to five. Oh, yeah, wow. They were from this direction. Oh, wow. Yes. That's cool. Okay, so there were lions, and yeah. I had something sniffing around my tent. It was a hyena. The hyena came into the camp. Really? Oh, yeah, the hyena came into the camp. Yeah, no the way. Yeah. So it was a hyena. You, you were really right to hear that sniffing. It, it came into the camp. Ah. Yeah. So. Wow. Wow. Did you hear that, everyone? Yeah. A hyena came in. That's terrifying. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I really needed a wee the whole night, but I didn't dare go out, and I'm really glad I didn't. I thought it was a warthog, but yeah. Yeah. Wow. But no, hyena. it was a cheeky little hyena. <laughs> Here we go. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Oh, I feel so sad. Bye to our chef and bye to the guys helping out there. And we're now going to be on the way to an elephant orphanage, which is going to be absolutely incredible. If you want to carry on watching our journey here in Africa, there's loads more content on our Snap, Family Fizz Real, on our Instagram, at Family Fizz, and then also on our other channel, Fizzia, where we're going to be filming something really exciting tomorrow. We'll see you over there, guys. Bye. Take care. Love you. Bye. Yeah, there's the hyena. Oh, he's coming over. <laughs> Need to rustle a wrapper, don't we? <laughs> he keeps turning back to look at us. <laughs>